Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today's glowing natural daytime look is inspired by the beautiful Gigi Hadid. I have teamed up with the amazing Lillian Tomasian on YouTube here to create sort of a daytime and a nighttime makeup look inspired by Gigi. As you can see, I've done a really natural daytime look. So glowing skin and soft natural colors on the eyes, whereas Lillian has gone a little bit more on the dramatic side and created a look that is more nighttime time appropriate. So if you are interested in learning how to create this look, please keep on watching and do make sure that you head over to Lillian's channel, check out her look and make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's get started. I actually have already done my base today because I am doing a first impression on this foundation right here. More of that will be coming up and I will link it down below when it is up. Now I'm moving ahead and doing my brows. Gigi's brows are typically quite natural and so I'm just sticking to the normal sort of curves of my brows and I'm going to do most of that off camera so we can move ahead. Now taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer, I'm popping this one all over my lid and just patting it in with my finger. This is going to create a great eyeshadow base for our eyeshadows. This eyeshadow look is honestly so easy and you could use whatever eyeshadows that you've got, but I'm going to be using this Lorac Pro Palette. So first off, I'm just taking this light matte color and I'm just popping that one all over the lid to set that eye primer down going to make blending over the top a little easier then picking up garnet which is this beautiful soft copper pinky shade and just on a large fluffy blending brush I'm working this one backwards and forwards through the socket just like honestly you don't need to be too precise about it just make sure that you've got a nice transition color then I'm taking taupe which is like a matte light brown and as you can see I'm focusing this one on the outer corner but then also dragging this one backwards and forwards through the crease as well Gigi's makeup is very very light it's also very very natural but she does like to use lots of warm colors to help bring out the color of her eyes now I'm taking the light bronze eyeshadow from the palette which is kind of like a shimmery champagne color and basically just patting that one all over the mobile lid just to give the eyes a nice soft shimmer it's honestly that easy just blend out the edges when you're done and basically that's it <laughs> Now for the lower lash line, I'm just working a little bit of that coppery color and also that um, shimmery color that we used on the lid just through the lower lash line just to complete the look. So using this Maybelline liquid liner, I am going to be creating a very, very small and thin line along just the base of my lashes and I'm going to wing it out on the side of my eye just a tiny little bit. Gigi's wings aren't big, bold or thick. Um, they're quite understated and basically they're just there I think to help elongate her eyes and um, just add a little bit more drama to her makeup but while still staying very natural. For the lower waterline I'm just using a white pencil to help brighten up the eyes and then I'm going to head over, grab some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Miss Manga. Miss Manga. I'm not sure what I think about this mascara because the brush bends so much when you apply it, it makes it kind of difficult to get on the lashes. Now for false lashes today, I am using my all time loves. These are the Demi Wispies by Ardell. Very, very natural looking lashes. They pretty much look like you don't have any lashes at all, just like you were born with it. <laughs> I woke up like this. <laughs> Alright, for concealer, I am using the Maybelline Superstay Concealer. Loving this one lately. It really, like, Superstay is an understatement. It is like paint and it does not come off. Pretty much just using that on the areas of my face that need a little bit more coverage and doing a teeny little bit of highlighting as well. As you can see, this one is a little bit paler than my natural skin tone. Then I'm going to sort of buff that one all in with a brush and then moving on to powder, I am using the NARS All Day Luminous Powder. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I will link it down below for you guys if you are interested. Just using that to set all of my makeup in place. And then I'm going to go in with a bronzer today. I'm using the NARS Casino Bronzer. Now Gigi doesn't go like hardcore on her contouring or anything. She already has amazing cheekbones so like <laughs> she hardly even needs it. She tends to just use a little bit of a warm bronzer just to sort of help warm up the sides of her face and add a little bit of a natural color as opposed to sort of really sculpting out her face with a harsh contour. So I'm just popping this one on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead and down my neck as well just to give me a really nice summery glow. And then I'm going to move on to a blush. Now I have noticed from looking at her makeup that she doesn't like to go crazy with cheek colors either. So I am using the NARS blush in Luster and as you can see it's a 
very, very natural bronzy color that just gives your face a nice healthy glow. Now for highlighter today, I am using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. <laughs> and I'm just going to use a mixture of these two bottom shades which are really beautiful golden glowing highlighter powders. I'm going to use them to highlight just the tops of my cheekbones there, a little bit on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. This is just going to help me fake it till I make it and give me beautiful glowing skin just like Gigi has herself. Using a smaller eyeshadow brush, I am taking that same highlighter and I'm going to pop that on the inner corners of my eyes, smudging it a little bit under the lower lash line and also popping it on the brow bone as well. This is going to tie the eyes into sort of like the glow of the face as well. I find that if you use the same highlighter on the face and the eyes, it all looks really, really natural. Now just using this Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner, shade will be down below because I'm so sorry I've forgotten. Just lining my lips and coloring them in and then finishing with this Maybelline Gloss. So once the lips are done, that completes the look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you head over to Lillian's channel and check out her work and her videos. She's amazing and you guys will love her. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! Welcome to my 2015 favorite. I actually wasn't entirely sure if I was even going to film this video because I was like, shit. <laughs>